Hi, I'm Kendra Freed with Temple Isaiah, and I'm here to show you some calming exercises for your nervous system. So these can be done by adults and children, and they're really a way to strengthen your nervous system, to build resilience, to stress, and to calm and soothe during stressful times. So there's four exercises that I'm gonna show you that are calming. Um, the first one is one of my favorites, and we use it in our classes, our yoga classes here. Uh, if you have a Hoberman sphere, you can use this as a visual aid for your kids or whoever you're working with. If you don't have a sphere, you can simply use your hands, which is a really great way to embody the exercise. And kids really like to do that too. So this is belly breathing with a sphere. And as we, we want to belly breathe, so when we breathe uh, in a stressed way, we kind of tend to breathe up here. So it looks like, like when we're scared, we go. So we don't want to breathe like that on a regular basis. We want to try to access the diaphragm and the belly. So in order to do that, we imagine that we've got a balloon in our belly or something like this. And as we breathe in, it gets bigger. And as we breathe out, it gets smaller. So a great way to just bring some calm and ease to your system immediately is to take five belly breaths. So we'll do that together. And keep in mind that depending on the size of the person, this pace will be uh, faster or slower. So just always breathe in a way that feels calming to you and it doesn't cause you to be dizzy or feel stressed about the exercise. So here we'll do five breaths. and then you notice how you feel. If you have little ones, like little, little ones, you might be guiding them and it might look like this. So it might be a little faster. So just pay attention to your little ones breathing and like look at their body and kind of tell like when they seem full and when they might want to empty out. So that just takes a little practice. But overall, belly breathing, filling up the belly, emptying out really helps to activate the rest and relaxation rest and digest system one of my favorites so the next one is really easy it's called ocean breath and you can do this standing or sitting and it's a way to really connect to your body and get centered and um, start to focus your energy so it's simply breathing in and bringing your arms out and then as you bring your hands together you can think of like an ocean wave crashing. So you notice as I got here, I still had more air. So I let the wave just keep going until I ran out of air. Um, that right now just calmed me way down. I feel so much calmer from the ocean breath. Um, the next one is a little more, um, a little more complicated, but there are ways to do it. If it feels hard, you, we can modify. So it, I'm calling it chipmunk breath. And the chipmunk breath uh, really helps to stimulate your vagus nerve, which is a, a major nerve in your body that runs throughout your body. And it's responsible for so many things, so many important um, actions in the body, one of which is stress resilience and calming the nervous system. So um, that's going to explain why this looks so silly. So we're going to take a deep breath in and puff the cheeks out like a chipmunk. So it looks like this. And then I'm holding my breath and I've got my cheeks out. But then I'm going to blow the air out really slow and make a sound. So the air is coming out. It kind of tickles my lips. It takes a little practice. Um, but you want to try to keep the cheeks puffed out because that's what activates the vagus nerve and as well as the humming. So the sound is really important part of this. So if this gets too complicated, like 
holding your cheeks and puffing them out and it feels like too much of this stuff. I can't even do that. Um, just hum. You can take a deep breath and you can let it out. Humming is wonderful for you. It's really calming, but I'll do the chipmunk version again. So we're going to breathe in. So the main question is, will my cheeks like suddenly flatten? And yes, they will, because you're going to run out of air and your cheeks will deflate. So that's our chipmunk breath. And the last one is called wood chopper. And we do this a lot in our JQuest uh, yoga classes. And this is also wonderful for all ages. And I would say this is uh, great for releasing frustration or if you have a lot of excess energy, like antsy, nervous energy, if you're angry, it's a great way to get a lot of oxygen and release tension, and it's, it ends up helping you feel a little bit calmer at the end. I'm really um, interested to see how you feel after you try it. So I'm gonna stand up for this, although it can be done seated if you have somebody who isn't able to stand or needs to stay seated, but the wood chopper looks like this. You're opening your legs a little bit wide and you're gonna clasp your hands and pretend that you've got like an ax in your hand. What I like to do is, um, is imagine something that's really bothering me and I might picture it in my mind or think about how I really want it to just like go away, clear, clear the space in my life. So you can clasp your hands and then take a big breath in and then you let out a really loud, so here it comes. <laughs> A really loud huh sound. So you want the sound to come from like deep in here, not just your throat, because that might bother your throat. So you want it to come from your belly, your, your diaphragm. So you do this several times. We'll do one more. And then notice, it can make you a little lightheaded for a second. Notice how you feel. See if you need to do another round of the wood chopper. This can really release a lot of excess energy um, for your little ones if they need it. And I would say just explore and see what works for you. So those are the four uh, calming exercises for your nervous system. And I look forward to hearing from you and how they work for you. Hi, I'm Kendra Freed. Welcome to part two of breathing techniques for regulating your nervous system. These can be done by, for all ages. Um, if you're an adult doing them, you might want to, um, you know, you can take out the more playful elements if you feel like it, or you can keep them depending on your mood. So these exercises are used to energize the body um, when you're feeling lethargic, or a good example would be like um, if you're tired and you have homework and you kind of need to get your energy back up. Um, this, these are great because they really oxygenate the body and they move the body and help wake it up. So this uh, first one is called Volcano Breath. And my preschoolers love this one. And up, I think up to like fourth grade, I've done this. It's pretty fun. So Volcano Breath, you're crouched down and you're just imagining that you are, there's lava coming up and out. So we're gonna breathe in, we're gonna breathe, breathe, breathe in, and then we're gonna make a big volcano sound. So it looks like this. And that's it. So you're just gonna embody the volcano, the lava, you're gonna breathe in as much as you can. And then you're full, and then we'll do one more. Usually I get tired before the kids do, and they wanna do like 10 of these. There's your volcano. It's very energizing, feels really good and powerful. And the next one is also it's really cute. It's called bunny breath. Bunny breath is um, really cleansing for the internal organs. Um, it massages the organs, it's energizing, and you can pretend to be a bunny, so that's pretty fun. So for little ones, they might wanna add ears. 
this is the part where if you're an adult, you might let the ears go, I don't know. But you can add ears of any kind. And you're inhaling, you're sniffing the air. So you're not going in, out, like you're going in, in, in. And then I'm full, and then slowly I let it out like I'm blowing through a straw. And without the ears, I'm just having my hands on my lap here. So for bed and breath, I find this to actually be quite regulating in terms of um, it does give me energy, but it doesn't make me feel hyper because I'm exhaling really slow. So anytime you exhale slowly, you're calming things down. But because I inhaled a lot and I got a lot of oxygen, it leaves me feeling just energized and balanced, not hyper. Um, try it for yourself and see how that works for you. You can also add a little bunny nose, like wiggle the nose, you know, the kids will get, they have fun with it. The last one is one that I've used for many, many years. It's called the three thumps. And I have it listed as a breathing technique because we do use uh, the element of breathing and sounding to help massage the vagus nerve. So you can do this standing or seated. I'll go ahead and stay seated, but you're gonna make little bird beaks with your fingers and right under your collarbones, right under the collarbones and kind of in a little bit is like a soft spot under there. And you're gonna tap or thump and kind of make a drumming sound. So what we're doing is actually working with meridians and Chinese acupressure points uh, to support well-being in the body and in the nervous system. So here we have this really potent place, this spot here. So we're thumping here for, you know, 10, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna thump the center of the chest. Here you could change to like pounding with soft fists. And I like to add an ah sound. So you take a big breath in let out an ah, ah, and I love to add a smile, ah, good, and then set the rib cage, not exactly on the side, a little bit to the front, sometimes it's a little sore, you can thump on that, and sometimes with the kids, we'll just pretend to be gorillas, and we'll make, you know, sounds like boo, 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 which is sounding is always great, for the nervous system. And so we thump that area too, and then we shake it all out. So the three thumps is here, here, and here. This is great for your immune system as well. This is great for your immune system. So it's a good one to do during season changes and when like colds and flus are flying around. You can do it before a meeting. You can do it when you just wanna kind of clean the slate and start fresh. Um, I, I've used this for many years and I love it. So I hope you love it too. Um, I think that will be it for our energizing breath exercises. So thanks for your attention.